Hi there, I'm Stacy, the encaustic mixed media artist behind Studio Stacy. Encaustic literally means to burn in. So I paint with beeswax and a torch and because it's mixed media, pretty much anything else I can get my hands on. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Consider subscribing and joining this artsy community. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, which helps me get introduced to more like-minded artsy folks like yourself. It's been a while since I've done a video like this. But um, a few things have been weighing on my mind, so I thought today was the day. So, without further ado. Welcome to another edition of Encaustic Endeavors, where we talk about artsy topics that tend to affect all of us. So, pick up a paintbrush, a pen, maybe even a torch, Paint along with me and enjoy this lovely conversation about turning your hobby into a business. I have recently seen a big rise in the number of business courses specifically designed for artists and creatives. Whether it's about how to teach online classes, navigate social media, create an email list, take professional photos of your art, create a website, the list goes on and on and on. I remember when I first thought about making art my career, which I don't think was that long ago, there weren't any classes on art as a business, or at least not anything immediately popping into my inbox or on social media. You kind of had to go digging for that information. Today, it feels like at least once a week, a new class on the business of art is popping up. Now, it sounds like I just went on a big, huge rant about people creating classes on how to make art your career. And you're probably thinking, well, what the heck? Why would you not want this? After all, isn't this a good thing? And my answer is, it is a very good thing. I think it's fabulous that there are so many other artists specifically creating business classes for like-minded creatives like myself. So that's not only what this is about. This was, in fact, a very long intro into why this has been on my mind. So now, getting back on track here, when do you know it's time to turn your painting practice into a business? I can assure you, I do not have the answer to this very big question. For myself, the idea popped into my head when other people saw what I was painting and asked if I could sell them a piece or would simply say, that's really good, you should sell that. I was also in a job that I really did not like and was trying to find another avenue for income. I think these two factors are the catalyst for most artists trying to decide whether or not to make art their career. If I might give you some advice on this subject matter, it is this, try out a local art show or gallery or put a few pieces up for sale on Etsy. Try the art business out on a part-time basis first before you take any big plunges like quitting your full-time career or having your income rely on your art. This may help clarify a few questions. First, do I like doing the businessy stuff? Do you enjoy packaging and shipping art answering questions about your process, posting pictures or video to social media, figuring out pricing and taxes, and so much, much more? Or would you rather keep your day job, make art on the side, and perhaps sell a piece here or there? My second question is how did you feel when you sold a piece, your first piece? Were you excited and couldn't wait to paint another so you could offer it to someone else? Were you happy to see your paintings go off into the world? Or were you excited to have some extra cash? If turning your art painting practice into a business is more about the money than the art, I'd caution you a bit. This is definitely a career where you can earn a living, but you might end up working more than your current job. I know this is the case for myself. I often work weekends and will often work 50 to 60 hours a week on this art business. 
sometimes more if I'm preparing for a big launch or show. I truly love what I do. If I didn't, I think I'd get burnt out very quickly. Those work hours go by fast, and I often need to remind myself to stop. There are, of course, many perks for working for yourself. My favorite one is the flexibility. I can work non-traditional hours and days to then take off when I want or need for the other events. My second favorite perk is meeting collectors and seeing my art in the world. I get very excited when I get to ship out a piece to somewhere I've never been or when a person comes back to a show the next year to purchase another piece. Lastly, connecting with other artists, inspiring others to create is truly a blessing. So as to not make this video too long, I'll wrap up by saying this. If you love creating and you have an itch to turn it into business, try it out first. If you try it and then decide you really don't like it, give yourself a big hug and say way to go for trying something different and taking a chance on you. If you love creating and want to keep it as a personal practice just for you, that is equally as important. Just because you don't make art your career doesn't mean you're not an artist. I'm an artist. Repeat that. I'm an artist. You're an artist. I'm going to continue on and finish up this quick and caustic collage, put on some music so you can sit back, finish watching the video, and contemplate art as a business. Let's continue this conversation down there in the comments. Let me know, are you making art as a hobby and just for fun? Are you a full-time working artist? Or have you ever tried making art your career? And if so, what's your favorite thing about being a full-time artist? Let me know down there in the comments, continue the conversation. And while you're down there, if you're thinking about it, don't forget, give the video a great big thumbs up. It really does help me out and consider subscribing to this wonderful channel. Join the artsy community. As always, thanks so very much for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.